Hello. So recently, I sold my soul to Jeff Bezos. I'd wanted to get an ebook reader for a while, so I picked up a Kindle. I'm going to tell you about the first book that I read on it. So I've got Amazon Prime, and I was going through all the free ebooks you can get for being on Amazon Prime. And I spotted one by an author that I like. His name is Adrian Tchaikovsky. And I had previously read his book, Children of Time. It's this massive book and it's all about like the evolution of a, of a really intelligent species on a planet designed for humans. Basically they build a world that humans are designed to inhabit and the plan is they're gonna chuck a bunch of monkeys on there as well as like a virus that speeds up el evolution in the hopes of like creating new humans but it goes wrong all the monkeys die and instead uh, we get a highly evolved race of spiders living on this planet and they're all super intelligent and humans come and also want to live on the spider planet and it's all about how it all works out between those this is a very good book it's got some really good world building and some nice character stuff in like the human side of the story and it really makes you empathize with giant spiders which is very difficult to do because spiders are a bit spooky so when i saw that i could read a new book by this guy i was really excited so i'm going to tell you all about dogs of war it's about dogs it's about war so the basic premise of dogs of war is it's the future and like genetic modification has come a long way so companies have now like bred human dog hybrids and they're kind of like cybernetically enhanced as well they've got like uh, chips in their brains to like help you control them they're like way stronger way more resilient way quicker way smarter than like humans will ever be and basically humans are using them just to like kill each other like these are the new super smart things and we're just using them for war and it's a story all about rex he's like an experimental one of these hybrid dog humans it's all about what happens he's been following orders his whole life and he gets he gets released from the system he doesn't have to follow orders anymore can this new form of life be considered human what kind of rights does it deserve complicated questions but delivered in a quite simple and easy to understand way so i think adrian tchaikovsky is really good at world building the children of time paints a really vivid picture of this planet where these giant spiders live and the spaceship carrying the last remaining humans through space you get a really good idea of that but the characters, they do behave as you would expect someone to behave. I feel like it worked well in this because of the spider characters that are obviously going to be different to a human. So I, I'm a big fan of the world building in these books, um, but I do feel the, the character building is maybe a bit weak in Dogs of War. So the lead character is Rex. He's basically a dog human. And because he all he's ever known is war and he's only ever followed orders his whole life his point of view is very simple it kind of detracts from the character i feel feel a little bit he's not like a fully realized character i think there could be a bit more going on there not that i'm saying that it's badly written or anything i think it's a very well written book it's perhaps just not a subject that i was particularly interested in although i do i do find like the the future technology stuff really cool they take it in a really interesting direction in the book. So there's Rex, who's the, the dog-human hybrid. There's Honey, who is like a bear-human hybrid, who who is very intelligent. But then there's also bees, and bees is like basically a swarm of bees. Towards the end of the story, it's, it's not really spoilers. Um, towards the end of the story, bees is is kind of creating some kind of global insect hive mind like bees is controlling all the bees all the beetles all the ants on the world it's a bit worrying and i'm not sure the book doesn't really take a side on it it 
it just states that this is something that's happening. But Bees is like a character, and it's a character that the protagonist likes. So I'm not sure if we're meant to be siding with Bees as they, as they take control of all insects on the planet. A little bit of a weird thing. Uh, the book's basically split up into five sections that followed like different stages in Rex's life. Uh, so for a start, it's at the company that he works for. He's basically a... He gets sent to clean up messes, basically. There is a lot of bad stuff that this company has done, and Rex and his team get sent out, and they are cleaning up the mess and destroying all the evidence of the bad things that the company has done. And to, at the end of the first, like, section of the book, Rex and his team gets released from having to follow orders. They have, like, a chip in their brain. There's a hierarchy that they have to obey, so they're, like, right at the bottom, and, and if anyone more important gives them an order, they have to do it. They can't not. And they get released from that at the end of the first section. And then, they, then they're working out what they're doing on their own. And then the third section of the book is, like, a court proceeding as they try and try and arrest Rex's boss. It's very all over the place, and I don't feel as if the book had a clear enough goal. It's got a lot of ideas that it's trying to put across, but some of them get a little bit muddled. It's like, it's trying to explore at what point an AI becomes human with with Rex and the other bioforms. So they were created as tools to, to help humans out, but now they've evolved past that and they are basically sentient. Um, and it's like, what rights do these, do these new sentient beings deserve? And it's kind of told in a weird way to where even Rex doesn't really understand what's going on and he's like right at the center of it and he doesn't have a full understanding of what's happening so it's it's a strange way to tell it and for me it didn't hit as well as it could have i don't think but i did still have a good time reading this book and the world building is really good um there's a lot of interesting things world building wise yeah so towards the end of the book we kind of drop a few of the plot threads uh, a lot of stuff goes unresolved or uh, tied up kind of hastily, which I wasn't too happy with. I would say if you have Amazon Prime and like a Kindle or something where you can read books, Dogs of War is free on the Prime reading service. So I would recommend giving it a look if you have the access to it. If not, it's worth checking out if it sounds like the kind of thing you're into. Um, future technology, uh, kind of civil rights kind of stuff. It's an odd bag, so a weird mix of stuff. And I think it'll be something that some people will really be into, but it's not gonna land with everyone. So definitely check it out if you've got Amazon Prime and a way to read this. If not, if it sounds interesting to you, give it a look. Um, I would also definitely recommend Children of Time. I think this is a really good book. Uh, it won the Arthur C. Clarke Award a couple of years ago which is why I picked it up, because I saw that A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet was nominated for that, and then this beat it, and I loved Small Angry Planet, and I thought, I better check out what won the award. So that's how I found this guy. Um, definitely check out these books if you're into sci-fi. If not, don't. Live your life. You're, you're your own boss. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Yeah, I guess this is just a quick one. I just wanted to talk about this book that I just finished, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, where I'll talk about something else. Bye-bye. <laughs>